Actually, I think, so I, I <clears throat> held it in my mouth longest and I'm definitely like feeling like a, like a sharp burn. Hello, I'm Sean Stevens, and this is Hotter Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter people. I'm the curly hair brother. Thank you for having me. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay. Yeah, it tastes good. Mmm, ketchup. What are your big three for your zodiac? My son's Cancer, and I have a Leo Rising and a Virgo Moon. What's been your favorite memory from the whole Gremlin Gramly experience? No, oh, okay, um, that's a hard one because I feel like I there's a lot of them. Um, like all of our lives that we did were super fun. Like Hank Green came on the live. We performed Bohemian Rhapsody for Hank Green. Um, I don't know. We did some crazy stuff on lives. Also our popcorn karaoke together as a group or just doing like a sound videos together was super fun. What is your favorite thing to do with you uh, during like, your free time? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my favorite thing to do in my free time when I get it, um, honestly, I play video games. Um, I don't be spicy. But um, <laughs> but I also I also like I'm trying to watch TV because I, I didn't really grow up watching TV, but I'm trying to watch more TV. I kind of like write music here and there, but nothing like on a professional scale yet. Hang out with my friends, watch the sunset, vibe. Hmm. I felt the spice this time. I didn't feel the spice last time. Who's your Harry Potter comfort character and why? I was gonna say Ron Weasley. I was. Cause that's who he was, like, it was him growing up for me. Was Ron, I don't know why, I, th I think I just had a crush on him to be honest. And he was like goofy and sweet and kind of like homey. Ginger. But now as an adult, I'm kind of like, like Snape. Like Snape is just like, the ultimate character. What were some of your favorite collabs to do? And if you could choose, who else would you collab with? So recently, Doty um, actually collabed with me on the Popcorn Karaoke on my TikTok channel. And um, previously, Tessa Violet also did. And that's both insane because like, I like admire them both so much. If I had to choose one, y'all already know my favorite band is Paramore. So I gotta go with Haley Williams. Like, if we're being honest. There, I thought you were gonna say Moon Illusion. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, check out his channel. <laughs> what is your favorite musical? I'm stuck between two because they are extremely different. Uh, one is Spring Awakening, which I actually had the pleasure of being in before COVID <laughs> bit. Um, and um, it was kind of horrific because I had to have sex on stage in front of my brothers. Not real sex. <laughs> Stage sex. The choreography for for the sex kind of went wrong, and I was supposed to end up facing away from my brothers, but I ended up like, <laughs> my crotch ended up facing them. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing like this really big bloomer that looks like a diaper, basically under my dress. So like that, j that's all they saw. <laughs> and then just my my co male star just like grinding against me. But anyways, <laughs> so Spring Awakening or uh, Heather's the musical, which I would also love to be a part of. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. I taste the spice, but so far they're all pleasant. I mean, it's for Russia. <laughs> what is your favorite Dutch Bros order? I have a few. My signature rebel that I always do is I get a vanilla blended rebel with blue raspberry drizzle, an orange mango rebel with strawberry drizzle, an oat milk latte with honey. You can get a nitro cold brew with chocolate milk and salted caramel. Just like a foreign language. <laughs> Did you ever endure an injury from any of your videos? <laughs> yeah, um, probably a couple. The main one I can think of is when Beth and I were jumping. We just wanted to make a video jumping on her bed for no reason. We were like, oh, adults jumping on a bed. That sounds like a great idea. And like, we wanted to jump on it in different ways and stuff, you know? And um, we both jumped on it and made a face at the camera. And then Beth rolls off the bed and then on, like, in, but like rolls and then like stands up. And then I just roll off, 
but I, I kind of slide off at the end on accident and then I hit my head on Beth's dog's crate <laughs> and like literally cut my head open. Not bad. How many stitches do you have to get afterwards? Zero. That's too many. What is your favorite theater production you've been a part of? I would have to say She Kills Monsters. I played a demon queen. Another makeout scene in this one. Another uh, <laughs> a lesbian makeout scene and uh, multiple ones in this one. And um, it's based on like a world of D&D. &D. And we wielded real weapons. And because I have had martial art experience, um, they were like, hey, we want to give you two axes. And like, you're going to do the most like stunt work, I guess, in, in this uh, show. Um, I would like do give anything to do that again. That show is amazing. And speaking of injuries, didn't you get hurt? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, not really bad. I mean, so throughout the entire show, I was covered in bruises. Spoiler alert, if you don't know the show. Um, my character dies uh, and I basically get stabbed with a sword, but like they're supposed to like lay the sword down. I close my arm and they pull it out. But the sword was really fancy and it had like these hooks in it. And so one night when um, my co-star, I guess, I don't know, she pulled out the sword, um, it hooked my skin and then I'm like dead right. And I'm supposed to be on dead on stage for like five minutes, 10 minutes. I'm just like laying there in my girlfriend's arms and I'm just like, why is my stomach tickling right now? Like, why is it tickling? Because I'm already like trying to not breathe too hard, like not like shake, you know, sh shake my eyelids. And then, and then I get off stage and I have to do a quick change. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm bleeding. But it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. I still have a scar, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen a lady in the bus when like that one guy goes for her hand and she's like Cheers. Some barbecue sauce. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. When you swallow it though, it kind of hits your back of your throat. Uh do you listen to going red? I'm sorry, do you play any instruments? I'm like fully reading that <laughs> and I was like <laughs> Yes and yes. I played piano for six years, like I had lessons for six years. Um, I taught myself guitar a little bit, like I can play chords and read tabs. Taught myself uke, again, chords and tabs. I took cello for like a year in high school, and I taught myself a little bit about the drums, a little bit about reading sheet music, but I'm not great. Have you ever been recognized in public? A few times. Uh, sometimes when I'm working in, in Dutch Bros, it's really awkward because like the customer will like drive in and they're just not saying anything, they're just like staring at me. and. I'm what do you want to drink? Like, how can I help you? And I'm like trying to be like really friendly and like, yeah, like, how's your day been? And, and they're just like, one time that was really memorable was Josie, Beth, and I were filming a TikTok out in like at a park. And um, so we were already doing weird things. Like we were, we were doing popcorn karaoke and like popcorn singing and other stuff like that. And one girl comes by with her dog and she's like, she just yells across the, the field. She's like, I love your guys' videos. This way. No! 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 <laughs> what? And we're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Cheers, mate. Just launch a laugh. Mm -mm. This is good. I felt bad. This is boring. We're just eating. <laughs> Have you done any sports? If so, what were they? We actually, we all did competitive swimming growing up. And then later on, I was a lifeguard and a swim instructor because of that. I did martial arts um, for a long time, which is kind of a sport, I guess. Yeah, I've done multiple martial art competitions, won some awards from that. I was almost a black belt, but um, I decided not to do it because we just didn't have the money for it. And I did, I did also taekwondo for a little bit. I love martial arts. I love like, like fighting, combat, and everything. I really want to put that into my acting. Um, and do like even some stunt work would be awesome. I did dancing. I don't know if you count that as pretty or. Are you in tap? Right, yeah. I was in tap ballet, jazz, and hip hop um, growing up. And then I did tap in high school as well. Is there any type of content you want to make more of? Yeah, uh, I'd really like to make more content, like maybe some singing videos, maybe um, like videos with you guys. Um, also, I mentioned I play video games, but I think it would be hilarious if we had like 
a stream of like my friends and I reacting to a video game, like playing it, uh, stuff like that. I think that'd be really fun. Maybe like more vlog style kind of content, but also just more content in general. The flavor does not go. I don't like the flavor. Yeah. I'm feeling spice in my mouth now, but I just think it's because my mouth has had spice in it for a prolonged amount of time. Out of all the videos you've made, which has taken the longest? I remember like the very first sound video that I ever made it took a long time because um, it was editing everything, like cutting everything, choosing the sounds, moving us around so it wasn't like I did a sound and then I did a sound again, like you know, moving it around. So it was even. And then on TikTok, I had to put in the captions and I like captioned every single sound we did. And like I, I had to think of a name for every sound. And then the, uh, doing the stickers on TikTok is just horrible. That was like the first video that really blew up and stuff. So I don't know, it made me really proud because I, I put a lot of work into that. And we had so much fun. You know, I'm a lot quicker at it now because I. I, and that was when I was learning how to use TikTok because I was like, I don't even know how to add a text. You know, I don't know, I don't know how to do filters. TikTok was very confusing to use for me. So that cool. smells disgusting. That doesn't even smell spicy. That just smells gross. Yeah, let me get that. So my brother tried this a while ago and it says to refrigerate after opening and it was not in the refrigerator, but That's, oh, uh, that smells vile. Much. Does it taste like raw? <laughs> it kind of tastes like it went bad. <laughs> well, we're but, still but. gonna do it for you guys. Content. Mmm. The flavor. Oh, it tastes like vinegar. Mmm. <laughs> this is just more nasty than spicy. No, it's not hot. It's not hot at all. Do I have to follow it? I think it just went really bad. Yeah. <laughs> this is disappointing. I'm really holding it in my mouth and I don't feel anything. Or this one. Actually, I think... So I, I <clears throat> held it in my mouth longest and I'm definitely like feeling like a, like a sharp burn. Do you have a favorite food you get when you're out on the town? Oftentimes with my friends, I will go and get sushi. I get a cucumber avocado roll with some spicy mayo, or I sometimes I go for like burritos or like tacos. I love guacamole and salsa so much. <laughs> on a related note, is there an Italian food that you wish would take, uh, fuck. <laughs> Is there an Italian food that you wish would catch on in the United States? Okay, well, cannolis for one. Um, oh. the, they, there are cannolis in the U.S., but they're not like you can't find them easily. Usually, you have to go to a, a special place that makes them, or you have to go to a special place to get the ingredients for them because it's it's hard to get. Aglio olio. Aglio olio. Oh, yeah. 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 It's basically like spaghetti with um, oil, <clears throat> garlic, and um, you can and salt. And you can also add like peppers to it if you wanted to. We, we love spice. Fresh pepper, yeah. We love spice in this household. I'm Shane Stevens. <laughs> what can the fans be expecting of you in the future? There's that camera and that camera. Well, guys, <laughs> I would love to be posting more content on here. Um, please comment what you'd like to see me do. I love you guys. You guys are freaking awesome. If you want to see us do this again with the actual hot sauces from Hot Ones, let me know. We're all down to do it. You better subscribe.